Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, Open Filer, another free open source software that allows you to create iSCSI targets, SIF share files, NFS, HTTP, a NAS, and a SAN in one utility. It's awesome. Uh, the only reason that I'm doing this stuff because I use these utilities all the time with uh, with my clients, and it's free. You don't have to waste any money, right? Uh, I think on the last video I showed you guys how to do or how to work with free NAS, how to configure it and install it. And the configuration setup that we did was an iSCSI target. I'm gonna do the same thing with Open Filer. So let's uh, begin. Uh, I'm doing everything on a virtual machine, VM workstation, and let's power my virtual machine. And I'm gonna show you guys the process of installing Open Filer. So you get this nice little win window right here and uh, just hit enter to install or upgrade in the graphical mode. Then once it completely once it completely loads up, you want to hit next from here. Uh, English. And uh, it's going to basically give you a nice little warning that it's going to erase all the data. We're going to hit yes. Now I have two hard drives like on the last video that I showed you guys with free NAS. One is for my uh, my storage and the other one would be for my operating system uh, select the drive or, or drives to use for the installation I only want to use this one and uh, we're gonna hit next yes erase all the data uh, the network device I'm gonna let DHCP do its thing it's one of the things I like about open filer it gives you a nice little graphical user interface that you could do everything um, while the installation is happening uh, on free NAS, if you gotta just uh, wait until it's finished and you get the console, and then you just pick what you want to configure. Uh, I'm gonna leave everything as default. Hit next. Uh, yeah, America, New York. Hit next, and give it a root password. Let's give it a nice, strong root password. And also, please remember the root password. And we're gonna hit next. And we're gonna hit next. And we're gonna let it format the file system and install the operating system. And we're back. Awesome. Almost done. Uh, as always, we need to log in into our web administration GUI. Uh, and that's the IP address that it's providing us. So I am going to open up a browser, shrink it a little bit. And the best thing about Open Filer that it actually uses HTTPS as a protocol to get into the server. Uh, that's awesome. I love that stuff because there's extra security and it has its own designated port to enter it. So, as you can see, uh, I do trust it. So, uh, don't get me out of here. Let's go to technical. I understand the risks, add the inception, get the certificate, confirm, and it should get me into it. Okay, so once you get to here, the default password in the username is open filer would be for the username, and the password would be password. Again, you could change it, but for the point of this video, I'm just gonna leave everything as default. Let's log in, and I do not want to remember. Awesome, so we're here, and how to set up an iSCSI target with your open filer. Now, with this version, I haven't played around too much, but I know uh, the the first thing that you need to go to, and I believe, is services, and you need to enable the iSCSI target service. As you can see by default, it is disabled. So let's uh, let's enable it. Once it's enabled, you guys need to start it. Okay, enable it and start it. If you don't start it, it's not going to run. Next thing that you need to go to is volumes, and within volume, you need to go to block devices. So once we start our iSCSI services, we want to get into volumes. And I have a secondary partition right here with 50 gigs. That's what we want to use. We need to go to block devices. And within block devices, we need to choose our partition that we want. And from here, I already, I already created one already. So I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to show you how it really looks. So I'm just going to delete it. There it goes. And let's go into our volume. And within volumes, you guys are going to go to block devices. Block devices, you want to pick the partition that you want to create. Uh, it's going to be a physical volume. We're going to use all the space. You're going to start your cylinder and ending cylinder. Just, I leave everything as default. So we're going to hit create. 
from here you guys want to go into volume groups create a volume group I'm gonna call this SK iSCUS iSCUS BTN add the volume of group make sure you select your physical volume that you just created awesome you want to add the volume and once you add the volume let's get the volume a name so let's uh let's go to eyes cuz wow give the volume description if you want uh require space let's use all of it uh, file system type this is really up to you I am going to do a block of iSCSI FS FC actually uh, and we're gonna hit is create once we accomplish that we know we need to go into our iSCSI target uh, I did this already in the pat and I did this already so you guys want to do is add and once you do an add uh, from here you will modify what you need to modify hit update I leave everything as default because you don't really need to do anything much. If what you could do is you can actually get the the IQN address from your Windows Server and add it to that if you want as a target. We need to go to LUN from LUN. Uh, it's going to be a write through uh, because uh, you want the user to write and read and blah blah blah. Transfer mode, leave it as a black IO, and we're going to map the LUN. Once we map the LUN, and that's it, guys. And we're almost done. So what we need to do is we need to copy your IP address or just remember your IP address. And I'm going to go into my server. And uh, let's get into our iSCSI initiator. And we are going to paste. I already had, I already had it already. So I'm actually going to remove this stuff. Remove all of it. Just let's remove all the nonsense with our server. And we're going to do a quick connect. And let's add i believe the d one is the one that we did so let's hit connect on that hit done awesome and let's go to volumes and auto config and there goes our drive we're gonna press ok we because this is a server i'm gonna go in my server manager and open up uh computer management within computer management we're gonna go to disk management and as you can see there goes our iSCSI targets we're gonna right click on it Put it online, right click it on again, initialize the disk. I'm going to do a GPT, press OK. Once that's completed, I'm going to right click, do a new simple volume, hit next, next, assign it a letter, let's go Z, next, uh, let's, let's go, let's go to T, next, uh, give it a name, uh, transfer, it's my transfer drive and perform a quick format hit next and finish now if you have multiple hard drives or multiple iSCSI targets addresses and you can actually create like a raid on all of them that'd be pretty fly but that's it guys uh that is how you configure and install open filer as well as create a iSCSI target as you can see it's full functional that's awesome if you have any questions please leave them at the bottom of the video and don't forget about hitting that like button and also subscribe because I'm always pushing out a bunch of new videos each day and uh, catch you guys later peace out